Ryan Reynolds here for, I guess, my hundredth mint commercial. No, 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 don't, no, don't, no. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I thought I only have to do like four of these. I mean, it's unlimited premium wireless for $15 a month. How are there still people paying two or three times that much? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be victim blaming here. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save whenever you're ready. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See details. What's so funny? <laughs> Why, Friday Follies, of course. Right here on the Mutual Audio Network. <laughs> The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Battery originally released February 24th, 2020. Hello and welcome to Bells in the Battery. I'm your genial host, John Bell, and today we're going today we're going to hold on just a second. Seems to be a seems to be a hum in the audio there. I mean, adjust something. No, that didn't get rid of it. Um yeah, hold on just a second. Let me go see if Arnie's available. Arnie? Arnie, are you down here? I'm over here, Mr. Bell. Come on in. Oh, hi, Arnie. Listen, I'm having a little trouble in the control room. Be careful where you're stepping, Mr. Bell. Be careful where you're stepping. What? What? Where? What? There's a cowlet in here, Mr. Bell. I don't want you to step on her. I don't see a cowlet. Yeah, that's her. What's her? Jezebel. What? Jezebel. Yes, I'm Jezebel, and you're Jezza Cunch Pardon, and Brad's Jezza an Idiot. I heard that. You know you did, and you're not in this scene. I'm talking about Jezebel the cowlet. She's in here, and I don't want you to step on her. And I don't see a cowlet in here. Then that must be her. Why? Because she's invisible. With liberty and justice for all? Invisible. Like, you can see right through her. You mean transparent? I don't know. I never met her parents. No, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're saying there's an invisible cowlet in here? An invisible tiny little cow? It would be difficult to vouch for her tininess without being able to see her. Well, how did she get invisible? With my invisible innator generator. You later. So you found a way to make things invisible? Yeah, it's an invisibility belt. So you take a belt of this stuff and you're invisible? Yes. No, it's, it's a belt like you wear around your waist. Really? I'd like to see this belt. So would I, but it's only invisible cowlick, so it's invisible. Oh, well, this is a fine how do you do. How, how do, do you do? do? Nice to meet you. Likewise. Is there any way to find this invisible cowlet? Apparently not, because I haven't found her yet. Well, why don't you shake talcum powder all over the room? And find her when she sneezes. Well, I was thinking more like the talcum powder would settle on her and we could see her. Oh, like a little white cow-shaped ghost running around. Yeah, why don't you do that? I'm afraid of ghosts. Well, do you have a better idea? I surely do. Quick, Mr. Bell, run over to that side of the room. All right, I'm running over to this side of the room. Now what? Run to that side of the room. All right, now I'm running over to this side of the room. And... Oh, God. I tripped Ooh. over something. Thing. That's her, that's her. Grab her, grab her. I can't, I don't, wait, wait I hear her. Let me, let me sweep my arms around it. Ow, something bit me. That's her, that's her. Don't let her get away. Not much chance of that. She's still biting down on my finger. Ow, ow, okay, ow, okay. ow. Hold on, Jezebel, where are you? Let me sweep my arms around it. Yes, I got her, I got her. She's in the cage. Whew. Honey, does she have my finger in her mouth? Did she bite off your finger? I don't know. I'm afraid to look. Jezebel, sweetheart, do you have Mr. Bell's finger? Huh? Do you? Do you have it in your mouth? She doesn't have it, Mr. Bell. Oh, thank heavens. Unless she swallowed it. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's here. I got it. It's still attached. Okay, now, Jezebel, let me take this belt off of you. Easy, easy. Here, Mr. Bell, calm her down by patting her on the head. All right, let me stick my hand in the cage here. Uh, there we go. Nice cowlet. Nice cowlet. She's getting agitated with me petting her on the head. I don't think that's her head. Ew! Okay, I got the belt off, and when you do that, it automatically switches off. And there's your belt, and there's the cowlet. All right, so uh, tell me about this invisible meter later tomato thing. When turned on, the invisible inator generator you later emits a field of tachyon particles, which causes the visible light spectrum to fluctuate to a point where the quantum equilibrium distorts the wavelengths to bend around the wearer, with the result of all mass within the field becoming non corporeal to the view. It makes it where people can't see you. Ah, gotcha. In experimenting with the cowlicks, I came up with four settings for the belt. The first setting is the lowest setting, where it makes only the outer layer invisible. On a cowlick, it would be the fur. So when you turn it on the first setting, it would look like the cowlick has no fur. Uh-huh. And the second setting? That sets your field a little deeper and gets rid of the outer layer of skin, so you can see all the organs inside somebody. Oh, that's helpful, but ooky. 
Third setting? That's where only the densest part of the body is visible, meaning the skeleton. You're thinking Halloween. Oh, you betcha. And finally, the fourth setting is the most powerful, where everything within the field of the belt is invisible. I can see how this would be a big boon to intelligence gathering and law enforcement. Oh, yes, but think of the disaster if this has fallen to the wrong hands. So... Let's, Let's not, not tell, tell Brad. Brad. That's a good idea. Hi, guys. What are you not telling me? Ooh, all sorts of stuff. Tons of stuff. Pretty much anything. Why do you ask? Because I was standing outside the door and heard the whole thing. Oh. Uh, that's what you get for leaving me out of the scene. Yeah, I'll watch that in the future. Now there's only one thing we need to figure out. Just one thing. You're not going to ask me, are you? No. no. Well, I'll tell you anyway. What will I call myself when I become an invisible superhero? We're doomed. Oh, yeah. At that moment, across town, crime boss Big Biggie Bigster was gathering his lieutenants around him for an announcement. Well, all right, you smogs. I want you all lined up in a nice straight line, see? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, boss. You mugs need to be there when I need you, see? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it, boss, yeah. And I want each of you mugs to look pretty, see? That's why I'm going to clean you up right now. Uh, you sure about that, boss? Oh, hey, guys. When would you guys get here, huh? Uh, we've been here for a while. Uh, who are you talking to? I was talking to these mugs, see? These coffee mugs. They're all dirty. I need to clean them out, see? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. We I'm see. not your mother, you know. It's not my job to keep them clean. You're going to keep your own mugs clean. You see your mugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just some reason you called us here together. I mean, besides the mug thing. Yeah, yeah. I got a big caper plan, see? It's going to make us a lot of dough, see? This doesn't involve a bakery, does it? No, it doesn't. And that's a Stupid joke, see? Yeah, but it fits in this show. So what are we gonna do there, boss? What's the big caper? Legos. It's the Lego caper. Legos? Yeah, Legos, see? We're gonna steal thousands of Legos and build all sorts of big, cool things. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, yeah. Uh, boss, we did that uh, last week. Uh, that's why there's this big Lego Death Star here in the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, then, we go to phase two. The Ego caper. We're gonna steal Egos. Egos? You mean the Waffles Egos? Yeah, yeah. They always say, Lego my Ego. So when I get some egos and Lego them and see what happens, see? Uh, actually, we got uh, egos last weekend, boss. Ah, uh, did we Lego them? Yeah. What do we got? Sticky Legos. Say, boss, uh, the guys and I have been talking and we're thinking yeah. maybe it might be about time to uh, do, uh, you know, like a money caper. Ah, yeah. uh, well, that's thinking outside the box. Uh, we were thinking maybe we should go, you know, cut out the middleman and go straight for stealing money. Yeah, money, money. That's money. Yeah, so yeah. Kidnapping. Uh, it's kind of risky. That's a federal offense there, boss. Uh, There's a kidnapping in the next room, so keep it down, will you? Uh, now, what kind of money you want to steal, see? Uh, well, we'll think uh, maybe we'd uh, knock over a casino. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll need a couple of bulldozers to do that. We'd, uh, uh, we're thinking more like uh, just stealing their money. Yeah, that's a good idea. Although, if we did knock it over, we could rebuild it with Legos, see? Uh, let's just stick with the stealing part right now. All right, all right. We're going to rob a casino, see? How should we do it, huh? Well, have uh, you ever seen Ocean's Eleven? No, but I've sailed the seven seas. Uh, i tell you what, boss. Why don't we do the planning? Uh, you just keep building your little Lego unicorn, dear. Uh, it's not a unicorn. It's a horse. Then how come it's... I stabbed uh... it in the forehead. Gotcha. Okay, boss. Uh, we'll let you know when we're ready. All right. All right, then. Come on, horsey. Get it off. Get it off. Sorry about the forehead, man. Brad, we have come to the most important part of you becoming an invisible hero. Yes, we have. Here's the belt. Here's the belt. Put it around your waist. Put it around my waist. And now the most important part of all. Coming up with a name for this superhero. Uh, I was thinking learning how to use the belt. What's to learn? I throw the switch and put it on setting one. Setting four. If you put it on setting one, only your clothes will turn invisible. Put it on setting four. Setting four, whatever. Have you thought of a name to call yourself, Brad? I was thinking transparency. Transparency? That's a word, not a name. No, no, no. You see, it's transparent with the letter C. And the C stands for cop. So I'm transparent cop. Uh-huh. See? See? Uh-huh. Well, well, first of all, you're you're not a cop. And second, that's really a stupid name. It's not. It's true. It's not. It's true. You got a better one? Yeah. Invisible idiot. 
What? It does have kind of a ring to it. I don't like it. How about Invisilad? See-through guy. Opaque man. Nothing there. Oh, wait. I kind of like that one. Why's that? Nothing there pretty much describes Brad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See what I mean? The next step is to come up with a really good costume. Costume? Something really colorful and uh, Brad. form-fitting up uh, to a point. Brad. And, and it's going to be... Brad, why have a costume when you're going to be invisible? So I'll look. So I'll... So people will see... That's a good point. So, no costume. I don't want a costume. No one will ever see it. Come up with a costume you can wear as pajamas. No one will ever see that either. These are all valid points, but now we need a crime to bust. Well, that could be rather difficult. I mean, the phone isn't just going to ring with a tip for a crime. Hello. What's that? A crime is about to be committed? Who is this? Oh, where's it going to be? Oh, okay, thanks. Who was that, Arnie? It was one of the henchmen of the big crime boss, Big Biggie Bigster. And he's ratting out his boss? Yeah, something about being tired about stepping on Legos all the time. W- what's the crime? Big Biggie Bigster and his entire mob, except for this guy, are about to rob the casino. Which casino? The Indian casino across town. Quick, to the invisible mobile! <laughs> We, um, do have an invisible mobile, right? Actually, we do. Really? You have an invisible car? Yes, I do. Then let's go. Where is it? I don't know. Arnie, you always got to remember where you park. I know, I know. Then quickly, to the Invisibus. That's not invisible. <laughs> Right, there's the casino. Now, here's the plan. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shouldn't the plan be made by the brains of the outfit? Brad will go inside and wait for the robbery to start. So am I going while I'm invisible? Should I turn invisible now, huh? Should I, huh? No, no, no. You don't want to run down your battery. Just go in there and pretend like you're one of the usual patrons. Walk around and... Whatever you do, don't gamble. Well, why not? You're a terrible gambler, Brad. You'll lose all your money. Will not. It's true, Brad. I mean, you'll gamble on anything. Will not. All right, Brad, I'll bet you that you cannot go an hour without betting on something. I'll t- Take that bet. Oh, wait. So you go inside without gambling and observe what's going on. We'll keep in touch. How are we going to keep in touch if I'm inside and you're outside? I brought along some communication devices. Here, hold on to these. Wow, these are as small as a multivitamin tablet. Yes, these are tiny high-tech communication devices. No one will ever notice you got it. Pretty cool. They're already turned on, so just insert them. Mine's inserted. I got mine in my ear, too. Good, now we'll test them in... Ear? They go in the ear? Yes, Brad, you stick it in your ear. Oh, (laughs) oh my. Brad, where did you stick your communication device? I, uh, I kind of put it in my, uh, in my mouth and swallowed it. You swallowed it. That's a lesser of two evils. Well, it looked like a multivitamin tablet. I wouldn't think you'd swallow a multivitamin tablet unless it looked like one of the Flintstones. Hey, I'm in good shape because I have a Barney in my belly. Guys, guys, let's get back on track here. Arnie, do you have an extra gizmo thing for his ear? Yes, I brought along an extra and very expensive communication device. Here, Brad. Now stick it in your ear. Put it in your ear, Brad. All righty, here we go. And it's in there. Okay, now go inside. Don't Don't gamble. gamble. Walk around. Don't be conspicuous. And we'll be in contact. All right, all right. I'm heading toward the door now. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Brad, can you hear me? I thought you guys were going to stay in the parking lot, not come in with me. We are in the parking lot, Brad. I'm talking to you through the communicator. Oh, yeah. We better see if these things work. They do work, Brad, because we're using them right now. Oh, cool. Oh, is Mr. Bell with you there? I'm right here, Brad. Shouldn't you be with Arnie in the parking lot? I am with Arnie in the... This whole thing's going to fail just horribly. Okay, guys, I'm going in. Greetings to you, sir. Welcome to our casino. Hi, I'm alone and nobody's with me. Yes, I can see that you're going stag. Ooh, should I see a doctor about that? Brad, stag means alone. Oh, well, I hope I don't have to get stag after I visit here. <laughs> I do not understand, sir. Well, see, stag means alone, so I was just saying... Brad, just go inside. So I'm going inside. Alone. So, bye. Have a good time, sir.
Okay, I am inside now. Wow, this is a really nice place. Don't get distracted, Brad. Keep an eye on the prize. Well, there are prizes everywhere in here. Do you see anything suspicious? Anything what? Suspicious. What? Suspicious. Suspicious, Brad. Oh, oh, nothing suspicious here. I beg your pardon? I was just saying there is nothing suspicious here. I see. Well, that in itself is not very suspicious either, is it? No, no, sure written. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brad. Hey, guys, say hello. She can't hear us, Brad. Only you can hear us. Only I can hear you? I'm pretty sure anyone here can hear me. You see, that's the idea, Brad. No one can hear us but you. But me? But me? I really have other things to do. Well, okay, just continue being non-suspicious. Oh, I wish I could give him a smack through these things. These communication kids more things work great, Arnie. You say they're expensive? Yes, each one costs about $2,000. Wow. Uh, is the one that I swallowed still working? I don't know. Let me, let me try it up here. Oh, yeah, it's still working. Well, I'll get it back to you then. No, you won't. But you said it's worth... I don't care. You can keep it. Oh, that's awful nice of you. Well, let's see what's over here. Ooh, there's a blackjack table. Brad, you're not supposed to gamble. I'm not going to gamble, Mr. Bell. Besides, I didn't bring in any money just to be on the safe side. Oh. Well, that's very mature of you, Brad. Hello, mister. Would you like to join our blackjack table for a few hands? Oh, golly, I'd love to, but uh, I don't have any money. Oh, that is sad because this table is really hot right now. Uh, listen, if I had something worth $2,000, do you think you could... No! Ow. Uh, never mind. Where are you now, Brad? I'm in the very center of the casino where I can see everything. Were you really going to treat one of my communication units for some money? Oh, it happens all the time in here. There's a lady over there trading some jewelry for some money. Uh, there's a guy over there trading a gold watch for some money. There's a couple of guys with machine guns that they're going to trade for money. Fred, Fred. Those must be the robbers. Robbers with gold watches? No. What, did they retire? I mean the guys with the machine guns. Ah, nobody moves, see? This is a stick-up, see? Ah. Oh, false alarm, Mr. Bell. It's not a robbery, just a stick-up. All right, everybody. Ah, put your hands up. Which hands? What? Our right hands or our left hands? Can I raise a foot? I'll see that foot and raise you one hand. Yeah, what is this all about? All right, now listen carefully and I'll tell you, see? You put your left hand up, you put your right hand up, you take your left foot down, and the right foot on the ground. Now don't do nothing funny, cause I'm taking all the money. Well, that's what it's all about. Oh, so we put our left foot up, you put your left hand up, and its hand is down. And it's your foot that's down. Now don't try nothing funny, cause I'm taking all the money. That's what it's all about. We raise our right hands, we raise our left hands, we put our left foot down and our right foot on the ground. I don't want no hiccup in the middle of my stick up. That's what it's all about. Now you got it? This is it, Brad. This is it. It's time for action, Brad. Oh, so I can gamble, huh? The robbers, Brad. It's time to turn invisible and take care of the thieves. Oh, good idea, good idea. Let's see, here's the belt, and I put it on setting one. No! If you do that, only your clothes! Oh, this up here. The crowd is starting to panic. I need to leap into action right away. No, don't leap. Keep your movements to a minimum. But I'm invisible. No, you're not. Brad, it's setting four. That makes you invisible. I thought it was setting one. No, setting four is the most powerful. Makes you invisible. Setting one is the least powerful. It makes you, uh... Oh, my. Turn the dial to setting four. All right, all right. Let me, uh... uh it's jammed, Ernie. It only goes as far as setting three. Ah, is the joint haunted? There's a skeleton standing there. Ah. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Think of something. Okay, okay. Um, I am Skeletor. Think of something better. Ah, ah, what do you want, Skeletor? I want you to stop this robbery this instant. Ah, no, I can't do that, see? Then Skeletor has a proposal. Ah, you want to get married? Uh, no, no, no. This is uh, more of an idea. A, a challenge. Ah, I'm always up to a challenge. Ah, name it, Skeletor. Don't make it have to do with gambling. Don't make it have to do with gambling. Are you a gambling man? That's it. I'm going home. Yeah. What are you suggesting, say? I say we choose one of these games in this casino. 
If I win, you must leave. If you win, you can take everything you want. I'm going with you, Mr. Bell. All right, all right, let's do that. Wow, well, which game you want to do, huh? Well, let's see, there's blackjack, uh, there's poker over there, there's wheel of fortune, clue... Ooh, hungry, hungry hippos. Might I make a suggestion to you, sir? Oh, yeah, sure. What's your idea? Why do you not play the most sophisticated game of all? Baccarat. Oh, yeah, that's that game they always play in all the James Bond movies. Oh, indeed it is a very popular game. Then lead us to the Baccarat table. Right this way, sir. Here's a seat for you and a seat for you. Ah, all right, all right, let's get this game started, say. Um, how do you play? Oh, nobody really knows how to play Baccarat, sir. Everybody sits and they say things like card, roof on a bunk, things like that. Bunko, that's a good one too. Uh, all right, let's, let's try this. Go right ahead. Card. Card. Neuf à la banque. Bunko. Suivi. Bunko suivi. Nine. Neuf à la banque. Oh, I think I won. I think I won. Well, let's make it best two out of three, all right? Brad, don't. 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 Sure, why not? Let me go again here. Card. Card. Neuf à la banque. Bunko. Sweetie. Bonko, sweetie. Nine. Nefera. Oh, I lost. Ah, now we're tied. It's time for the winning hand, eh? All right, here we go. Five. Uh, Gap. Nef a la banque. Sweetie. Bonko, sweetie. Nine. Nefera. Banco. Banco de boo. Banco de boo. Banco de boo. Boo boo. I won. I won. Ah, uh, four. Okay, boys. The deal's the deal. Let's get out of here, see? Ah. Uh. Ah, it's good to be back in the studio again. I need to wrap this show up with the copyright notice and everything. Well, Dag Nabbit, that hum is still in here. I don't have time to fix it right now. You've been listening to Bells in the Bad Free, episode number 241, copyright 2020, by John Bell Creative, LLC. Uh, let me go see if I can find somebody who can fix this hum. Uh, thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Well, that's enough meditation for today. I need to get back to mopping the floors. <laughs> sure like this cool electric belt I found in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my bucket? Oh, oh my brain. Have you ever wanted to find a place where kids can go to listen to funny stuff? Well, you have just found it. This podcast will have jokes, kids' stories, educational stuff that kids can learn from. So tune in and enjoy the show.